Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Spell Rogue, my most anticipated roguelike out there, a dice-based turn-based roguelike. I just can't stop. I just can't stop. We're going to be playing as Azar here, but first let's go ahead and explore the void, which is basically just add some difficulty modifiers. We need to get six points. I looked at it before, and I kind of think that start with half as much max health seems fine for four points. And then our first six gets re-rolled. I think I'm good with that, especially if we go for this loadout right here, which seems like, you know, return a die with double the value. If we have, you know, a three, if our six gets re-rolled into a three, that doesn't matter. Uh, gain five block, deal five damage, apply one week. It's some simple stuff, but as we've learned, kind of sticking with the starting loadout doesn't really s happen for long. Heal five health at the end of each combat. So this is looks like our fire pendant. Um, it's a little bit tricky when we have 25 max health to go for a heal five at the end of each combat, but it's actually probably fine. Start of the first turn, roll three ones. Start of each turn, roll a one on one, two on two, three on three. That's actually fantastic. Hmm. That's fantastic with what we've got. I'll take it. That gives us some really, really meaty first three turns. So in we go. To see what we gotta go for here. Alright, step one. I think we put the higher numbers in. Well, two turns into four. So the question is... Can we kill? We can kill one. The answer is yes. But then we would take damage. So let's go ahead and just do something like this. Schmack. And put down a... There. We're going to get a two. So we know for a fact we have a two that's going to turn into a four. That's happening just for sure. I guess we do it. Yeah. All right. Four damage. We have been weakened. So we actually can't kill. So I'll get that ready for next turn. I'm silly. It's fine. We um we can take one damage. Weaken stacks. That's actually an important thing to remember as well. Doesn't really matter here. Just get a kill. So weaken some of the things are um like, lower their damage by 25%, yada yada. Uh, gain 6 block, reduce the countdown cost of the spell by 1 this combat. Apply 3 weak, gain 6 block. I do kind of like that. It's actually just, like, so much better than Don Dome. We might be able to find a way to convert weak into damage. For for one more pip, which I guess the jump from 6 to 7 is really important because this means it definitely needs... Um, ooh, weak all enemies. It means it definitely needs two dice. So that is kind of important to keep in mind, but oh well. Four damage coming in. Upgrade. Upgrade. We can make it so he just does one damage to me. Eh. I'll take none instead. And we'll get him weakened. Good deal. Getting a guaranteed two, so we can go for a double. A double. We didn't even need to double that one, truthfully. All right. Minus two damage. I think that we're going to want to... Since we can't kill, let's go ahead and whoop, go for another block. Man, just the the amount at which suspension is better than Don Dome is, is crazy to me. All right. We should be able to kill. Put five points in here. This is a nice, like, it. the starting build that we have here feels 
a bit better than some of the other stuff. Deal X damage, X being whatever we put in, and then gain a Bane Fire. Deal one damage to the front opponent at the end of the turn, and then reduce Bane Fire by one. Hmm. I'm more interested in it than some other stuff, I guess. It's not, I'm not jazzed by it. It's not, it's not speaking to me on a deep level. Wow. Some craziness. Okay, we're going to do two damage to the front guy at the end of the turn. That, that was, that was some wild stuff. What is this? And again, buried. Minus two damage received on bears on the next attack. Sure. And I'll go ahead and set, you know what? I'm going to set up suspension for uh, something we can do in one die, hopefully. Because I kind of suspected we would take a good amount of damage here. Minus two damage received. Unburies on next attack. It's next attack? Okay. If we keep on stacking two each turn, this does ramp up. We have Dawn Dome for sure going off here, so I'm glad I set that up. Or, uh, the infected going off. Basically, at the end of the turn, we take one damage for each infected. If we put a die in there, that infection will spread, thus making us take more damage. So, it is slightly more optimal, technically, to blinding brilliance that, but shouldn't matter, because we don't take damage at the end of the round. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. Deal five damage. Increase it by one for each week on the target. So there is a way to utilize that. Super heat kind of um, ties together this whole build. And makes Blinding Brilliance a little bit better than Inferno. A little bit. But we can do Suspension into... Uh, superheat now, which is makes superheat 8 damage, which is not incredible. Like, we don't have long-term silly scaling like we've had on other runs, but it takes some time to get there. We'll probably go for this upgrade for suspension. Two Banefire on Inferno, I will admit that that makes that pretty fun, though. This is more efficient. This this helps with the early game. It does block off some late game stuff. We actually picked a path with no elites. That's a... I would say it's a mistake. Yikes. That was not a six we wanted re-rolled. I'll say that for sure. will explode next turn. Not an incredible amount of damage by any stretch. I'm going to get super uh, sus suspension ready here because I suspect problems. Guaranteed two. So you're exploding, you're exploding for six. So we're taking 12. Yeesh. All right. Uh, I don't really want to take that damage. And we can't kill. We could do a whopping, let's see, five and then 
plus an extra six we'd be do we could do 11 damage to you with super heat which is it's just not enough right now so i'll just completely block everything this guy is he's at least exploding the bad news is these guys probably are both exploding at the same time this turn so i think that we're gonna want to um yikes Suspension again. If we suspension twice, that doesn't... We're not getting anywhere. So... This gets us somewhere. And it's, it's a very small somewhere. And it's, um... It means that we get to have a two in suspension moving into the next turn, which is not that great because we're also moving on to turn four, which is a turn that we don't really like because we don't get that extra die. All right. Not great. Summoning two guys, the good news is we should be able to pretty easily kill this turn. Alright, cool. Cool! We take it. Gain a critical, gain a four block. If four or more dice were spent in this, gain two power. It's not bad... Out of this, I'm most interested in that one, but I'm not that interested in any. Okay, Inscribe is incredible for us. The start of the first turn, I apply five weak to all enemies. I do really want that, but Inscribe is fundamentally going to be huge for us. It's going to make it so we can actually um, play all of our spells in a turn. I'm going to get rid of this for now. So minus two countdown means that we can make this only cost three to play, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm, I'm going to take an eight max health up. It's, it's expensive, but I'm just going to take it. All right. We're going to go for this one, because we need to be able to cast this multiple times in a turn. One damage. We could take nothing, or we could also just... Ah, what am I... We didn't do that yet. We didn't do that yet. Oh no, I'm taking one damage. Ah, oh, I threw... How will I recover? The twos and the threes are actually kind of fine. This is weird. Hmm. Not much matters here. This is strange. If I ins well, I'm taking one damage at the no, I'm taking two damage at the end of the turn. I kind of want to use suspension then. Suspension on you followed by super heat means I can kill him and block at the same time. We're gonna put four into inscribe so I can use it next turn. And the fun thing is this kind of converts light's lantern into a full rounds worth of value. Three is probably low enough already for that. Lower that by two. Eh. It's kind of a mistake, because I sort of need to super tension. Super tension. Suspension. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, need is a strong one. I'm going to be taking a whopping one damage. Two power to all enemies. How much? So you only have one, so this would be five, six, seven. Hooray. Not that exciting. Eh. Annoying. I just don't want to take damage when I think we can, um, I think we can pop him. We got his shield gone. Ooh. Ooh, Nelly. You jerkman. Oh, and also that's a bad roll. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and smack you silly instead. Five in the week. We can do four. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so much there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Our turn four needs to be better. Destroy target die. All of the what the heck? When you say destroy, you mean forever? The upgrade to this doesn't include more weak. All right, what the hell is this about? This seems... Seems bad, if it's how I understand. Rewrite reality, reroll the die and gain a block. It's a good thing. Flame brand. If you cast 12 spells, you get a critical. I like that. Let's get some more max health. Let's, we're going to fix up my health problem. Very expensive. I don't, I'm not playing with the destroy a die on the boss fight, though. I think it's asking for trouble. Five, good. I kind of want to inscribe this. Because, like, it's it's about the long term, right? We need to have a bigger, later game plan here. So this is three. So this is basically the same as adding six damage. This is the same as adding five. This is the same as doing, like, seven extra damage. So, it's really, like, not that big of a deal. He's about to gain a lot of power, so killing him seems important. Or, at the very least, doing enough damage to make him move? Nope, that didn't work. He's gonna gain that power. This is the least strong build I've had. Alright, 14 damage. Okay, so we got a critical. That's pretty fun. Okay. 34 damage. It's about the bag. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I I don't mind that. We kind of got somewhere. I think that um, downgrading uh, suspension is indeed the play. I can't uh, get him to close. And Blinding Brilliance would only... 
it wouldn't slow him down that much. I'll just do the 17 damage. I'll be able to close him next turn. We do heal for half of our health at the end of this uh, fight. Right? Yeah, there was a modifier that we could have taken. That's three. Hey. Shouldn't matter too much. Wait, hold on. One, two, three. Eh. So we kind of actually don't... <laughs> we don't want to... Really... Play a three spells. No, no, no. Critical stays. Critical stays. Actually, a way we could technically get the big burst this turn is if we do this and this. That is That counts as playing two spells. So that puts us up to 11 already. And then we suspension again because we want to gain critical right now. Oh wait, we we but then we uh, fumbled it at the end. I don't really want to blinding brilliance. So the thing is, we don't lose the uh, critical, so it doesn't really matter. We just have to make sure we suspension, suspension, explode. <laughs> So we will stun him because he crossed a threshold. Minus one value to all our dice next turn. The good news is it shouldn't matter whatsoever. We... Hmm. It doesn't, but it could have. It doesn't, but it could have. Twelve spells, roll the die. Plus one dice each turn, minus one block from spells. Oh, uh, could we afford that? Minus two block a turn. We're going to be upgrading that, so we could still be getting 12. It's not the best. I could find another way to gain block. Copium. Sure. I need something to replace this. Oh, I want a different aggressive way to apply weaken. Sacrifice is... It's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... The fact that it destroys it seems like a problem <laughs> for us. Don't really have the money for a shop. Destroying is a big deal. If that, if it means what I think it means. And I think it do mean what I think it means. Alright, so there's 10. It's an extra 20-something damage. Pretty good. Don't mind that. On attacked by a spell, ignite that spell. That's fine. Scribe. It's, it's too good. Ooh. I'm actually gonna... Since we have our critical... I'm actually gonna kill you instead, man. <laughs> since, since we got up there... I'm going for it, man. All right, pretty good. 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 Fourteen damage. Lose three health. Two to roll the die. You know, to roll two. You know. Upgraded Kindle is pretty good. Standard Kindle, kind of stank. I really would like to do a lose health build, but doing it on a half health run seems wrong. I need to fight an elite. Also, I want to fight as many fights as I can. I get. I just want to get more... Um... That's the placeholder beast! This is 
some stank. This is probably the time. If I'm if I'm gonna be real, I I have a hard time believing we're gonna get something much worse than that. Man, reducing his damage by 10. In addition. Like, the fact that that's just another thing I can do is crazy styles. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm gonna go for suspension because it doesn't break our critical. Whomp. Snared it. What does snare do? Receive marked and remove snare when it's used this turn. It's fine. <laughs> Just for fun. Are we anywhere near close? No, sir. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, big man. Any critical? Yeah, it's it's that or re-roll, and I'm not really feeling like re-rolling. I don't have that much money for the shop. I'll tell you what, I'll hit this shot. Ooh, I could hit two elites, though. I got hit two elites, though. Probably better for me. Dodge. We're going to want to probably Blinding Brilliance, then. Ugh. That's a feels bad, man. It doesn't deal contact. Oh, that it still counts. All right, but also it does at least apply the weekend too, so that helps. You're annoying, Mister. Ah. All right, fine. Screw with thine self. Uh, that'll count, count as two casts next turn when we inscribe. And we're definitely going to want to inscribe it. Ah! Wait, when do we... We'll take the damage first. Alright, fine. Jerkman. I can't yeah, I'm just I'm not rolling well enough this turn to to go for anything too much bigger. So that's ten it's fourteen it's not not enough. Not enough Four five we go one two three I just couldn't handle how suboptimal that turn was gonna be. I'm still taking damage, but Man had um, dodge, and he still man still had his dodge for what it's worth. Okay, we got a five though. That helps so much that we can just like pop that. Okay, good. We can dupe the three or up the the three there. Let's fish that. We have critical. I don't want to do math. I'm assuming that's plenty. <laughs> I just didn't. I just didn't want to do math. Okay. Woo! Nelly. All right. Attacking and defensive moves at the same time. All right. We're good to go. If we're going for like a big burst, I guess we're just going to pop that. If I could find something that will split a die in half, we could totally justify slotting it in like over here for late round suspension here.
We got our critical. Oh, we got our critical. It's not good, actually. I didn't want it yet. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, we're, like, absurdly fine. Two damage, two times all spells gain a countdown. Not good. Gathering Flint. This is really interesting. Gain two Radiant. When reaching ten Radiant, roll three dice and add a charge to all of your spells. It's pretty cool. It's a fun. There's a fun build in there. I'm going to grab Conflagration. It just sells for the most. And I don't think I want any of those. Next spell is cast twice. I do love me a next spell is cast twice. Enchanted die with Energized. I just don't... There's a way to make this good, but it's on like a multi-strike build. Like a... Attack four times. Or whatever. I mean, Amplification Gloves. Gloves. <laughs> gloves could help too. That gives us something to do on turn four... But by turn four, we need the help earlier for that, so I might as well take a big explosion explosion instead. So we can um We can burst fire our superheat. Zip. Multi-strike attacks like that are even better for me. Smacking. Crone of growth, crone of birth. Ooh. Twelve and lifesteal is an annoying thing. Uh I mean I guess I kinda wanna hit both. Which is not great. Well, I'll tell you what. We get 12, so we actually full block anyways. I hate that we have the crit right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for... Oh, no. We'll weaken you for next turn. We're taking none. He heals up. None. That guy's buffing up everybody, though, which does stink. We're going to go for Blinding Brilliance uh, for sure, just on the front guy, because it's just too... It's too good a value right now to not. You're attacking. We want to focus on whoever's attacking. Deal. We're pretty far away from. Yeah, here. That was exact? No, 50 damage exact. Still pretty good. We could use this. We kind of want to use it optimally. It would be used on... Oh, God. Ah, man. Oh, you healed? Oh, no. Dude, no, oh, dude. Do I have to waste my crit on him? I guess I don't have to. All right. Yep. Buff up your whole party. Whole squad is juiced. Yeah. We actually maybe... I'm gonna do just that. Doesn't really matter. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Me. <laughs> I mean, it's like, didn't really matter. Okay, there we go. Whoop. I thought we inscribed, would have inscribed that by now. 
I just want to know how this works, since we kill anyways. Would it... Is it going to give me a marker that lets me... It should work where I could, like, target another. Apply three week. Hey. Uh, Wild Blaze is fantastic. We did a build around it already. Triple the chance of gaining rare spells and potions from combat. I, it's not bad, I'm sure. But yeah, Focused Heat is a little bit more interesting. Because we don't like ones. As it stands. Increase by three if they have weak already is crazy. We really should get more slots, but good god. That's so good. Oh, uh, we hate big multi enemy fights like this. Okay, so do we want to, like, do we want to keep our ones now, I guess? Huh. The annoying thing is I might as well do it this way. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys get so they, they're ramping up. Oh my god. What is this fight? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and weaken one like that, and then we'll apply an extra six. Not that it, this is going to really even be that big of a deal. Oh! This fight seems extremely overtuned to me, if I'm just throwing it out there. That seems kind of crazy that that all happened at the same time. Okay. I might as well go on somebody else is the thing. I don't want to use next spell's cast twice on him because I can't change the target of the second one. Woof. All right. Some craziness. Taking five. Ah, uh, that guy living at one is so annoying. Ow. Ow. This one fight is bonkers. All right, we we need another we need another attacking spell. We should be able to properly block this. Oi, oi, oi. It's fine. Yep. 
Okay. I kind of want to do like that. I get no. I did it wrong. I'm 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 frazzled. I'm frazzled. It doesn't matter, but I did it wrong. Now we might as well dupe this. Put one in inscribe. We we did it wrong. <laughs> I meant to put the two and then the one. We we would have had uh, lethal on that man. It doesn't matter. That messing up lethal there doesn't actually make the difference. Oof. Oof. All of that happening on the same turn is crazy, man. I don't really care about any of this. And it's a normal cost. Now we have to fight an elite. Dude. Uh, you better be easier than the other guy was. Spawn a mirror version of itself every round. Yeesh. Okay. That helps. This is probably going to be an easier fight, which is funny. Uh, he says before this happened. Okay, we want to do this once first. I guess on you, it goes further. So do I know if I'm... I guess I don't know if I'm hitting the right guy. Dude. So you were fake? So I do take that damage, even though you're fake. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. We need to hit the right target. On guess alone, I... I mean, I hope it's you, basically, because otherwise we got problems. So how much does that do? 50? Please. Yes! <laughs> Double the week on the target. Oh! That's some craziness. That is some craziness. Rolling 60 damage to all enemies. I'm going to get that shard. Probably upgrade a slot at this point. I think we need to go ahead and grab... A heat stroke. I can't... I just can't... Ju I can't... We're going to get multiple heads... Which is going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. Gain three power. Merge die. Dice gain for block. Oh, Amalgamate's probably pretty good for us. End of turn, deal one damage to the front enemy per dice rolled this turn. Um, returning a die does not count as rolling a die, so that's not great. Amalgamate is good. Amalgamate is quite good. Because we don't care if they're combined like that. The bad news is... I put it... Where? Mana Purifier is giving me value. This would not. But it does give me... It's not good. This is not good. I do think I want this for later, though. Finding brilliance is just 
to well it's 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 just not enough and it can't be upgraded because it's a starter spell i don't know man i don't know man pox bringer all right step one inscribe suspension just for sure step two we do a little bit of upgrading as a treat Okay, so then we, um, we suspension. See, two power to everybody, you son of a gun. All right. Put two in that for next turn, and we will go for super heat. Sure. So when a head dies, he takes 200 damage. Glad that's a whole lot of nothing. That helps. Don't have to do very much to, to kill this guy at this point. This head. I mean, we're not there already, are we? We are. Okay, so there's 200. I mean, it's a little spooky. It's a little spooky because now we have to deal with two heads. And they are better than one. Okay. We're kind of losing a little bit, but whatever. Um, I wish we had a one. Is that, uh, that is a kill. I don't even have to use my double spell. Alright. It's a little sum sum. We need to kill these three heads. Oh no, man. That ain't good. I want to kill a powered up one. I think I need to... Okay, so you're doing nothing. That helps. Ah. I could just take six block... What does this do right now? This does 24. Not enough. This sucks. This sucks. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. I can't... The thing is, I can't stall. Like, I need to make a move on killing. Otherwise, we're just going to have worse problems down the line. That doesn't kill! I can't believe it doesn't kill. Doesn't matter. But we're taking so much damage from that guy. Okay, this is a this is better. Oh, and of course you're doing the double on this turn, which oh well. Okay. Dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, we can get you killed easy.
But then the question is like, what do I do with my other stuff? I could also stall and then not have to deal with the other. I can really, really, you know what? Yeah, that actually, that's a good idea. Very easily, I can make you do basically no damage. Which I really like the idea of that. And then I'll work on you and split you later. Extra five? Is that even worth it? Because uh. this does a whopping 15. It's basically nothing. Um, this sucks. If I cast two spells, I can't cast two spells properly. Uh, we're getting critical. If I rolled a freaking one, that'd be nice. I'm taking no damage this turn. Also, just not dealing very much. But yeah, this he is pretty easy to kill, especially if we um, target spell gains two charges on super heat. We can go for an attack and an attack on the same, which is helpful. Oh boy! This is... Oh, this is bad. You don't need me to tell you that. Don't like that. I like that better. Tell you what, I think we're just gonna have to go for the kill on you. Because it's just gonna have to be good enough, which sucks because it's not something that I consider to be good enough. Mm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, this is not, this is actually workable. This is workable. Yeah. So, I think we might need to tap out already is the annoying thing on this. We do that, and then we can go for target spell gains two charges on super heat, so we can cast it twice this turn. We'll go for next spell is cast twice, so we get at least some value out over there before we inevitably kill here, so we don't take 20 damage and die. Uh, and then all we need to do is 21 damage next turn, and we win the fight. Woo! 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 Please tell me we can do it. Okay, okay, we can. Dupa dupa. Uh, uh, uh. Odd turns, roll an odd value die. Roll an extra die each turn at the start of the first turn. Enemies gain a power. Enemies just do one more damage. It's workable. It's workable because one more die means that I get to apply more. Oh my god, triple, but it costs even more. A five. Uh, if it was an even number, that'd be better. Let's get these inscribe upgrade, but getting uh, an extra upgrade slot to get the merge for some free blocks sounds lovely. We have uh, good money for a shop, so I think I might actually schmoo my way up towards one. Step one, suspension. All right. 
Queacon. So this man splits. Ooh. 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 Oh. 69. <laughs> All right. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. All right. Let's go ahead and reduce that all the way down to one shore. So we could do one or we could do heat stroke to add 10. It's going to be a little bit more exciting. Unfortunately, that's not a great use of my critical, but what can I really do? Next spells cast twice could be very fun. You can obviously do that on heat stroke and do some funny stuff with that. I am aware. Wop 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 wop. Don't know if I need to do a double cast. Cause if I could change targets on it, it's a different story. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Next spell is cast twice. Might be best to put it on suspension. So we're... I kind of regret that. I, I regret that. Because it's getting used both the charges, isn't it? I think it's going to use both the charges. What's the better one to use it on then? Superheat would be logical. If we had stuff on him. Inscribe is a little bit weird. So we'll probably use it both on the same targets. Yeah, I I just I have regrets for that. Cause I can cast this I can cast this twice anyways. Man, this is annoying. I gotta at least take charge of the take well value out of the fact that I can get two charges when we only have one. Alright. I just It's just my goal to live this, alright? And the thing is, we can. It's fine. It was a blunder, but it was a blunder that's not going to actually be consequential in any fashion. And in fact, we can't really... I'm not going to say we can't lose this at this point, but we pretty much can't lose it at this point. <laughs> yeah. Good. And we love seeing a one. Love to see the one. I wouldn't mind... I think we can get the heat stroke upgrade that makes it triple at 10. Now that we have Inscribe at a minus three, I think we can actually afford that, which is crazy. Gain one Surge. Apply X weak to all enemies when gaining block for one turn. Gain two block for each charge left. Dude, if it didn't cost a two Surge. If it didn't cost two twos, that's just such a... It's such a... Tufts very specific get, you know? Doesn't matter where we go. I don't know what the fights are. Bum, 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 Yikes. I'm going to buff him up. I hate it. He's going to get stronger. That's just kind of what that man do. I'm going to take two damage so that we can do a large amount. It's unfortunately not as large as I would have liked. But we're going to be getting him out of the way next turn. And he's blocking back there. So, yeah. So, we can kill you without... So, we, we can just focus on playing kind of like defense on this. Which is nice because we can kill you with one super heat of any value and that's and that's just worth it. I'm just 
just for fun there. Get a critical. All right. Um, sure. I thought that might happen, and I don't like it. We could have put the we should have put the two in the four. It doesn't end up mattering. You're being guarded, so it's going to be the backline guy. Or I could focus on this man, which I think is going to be a better call. Oh, I don't want to use it. Uh, that instant uses it. Okay, good to know. We're blundering here. Slow it down just a smidge. Slow it down just a smidge. The one, one, one. Good deal. We're not taking damage, so we're fine. To kill even without the double, so we don't need, don't need double it. Let's get a six. Just let's just have one. Let's just have a six. God, he's blocked again. Dirty Devel. So we can inscribe on heat stroke, I guess, to make it like a. That's an interesting gimmick for it, at least. Sure, I'll target you, wink. I'll target you, wink. I'll target you, wink. So this, yep, yeah, okay, cool. I don't think I'll need to, yeah, I really don't. Perfect timing though, because otherwise we would start taking some damage. We could have done this, I guess, on suspension. So what we kind of want to do is, oh, we didn't get a one, so max value is lower. Uh, but what we'd want to do is this, doesn't really matter on this point um but if this were a longer term setup we'd be we'd want to do that because there's no reason not to because we don't have anything else to do with our extra dice Th that gives us the critical which lets us get the kill it was tighter than i'd like it was about to get gross if that fight went on any longer two damage to the rear gain of power i don't want any of this this is at least uh gonna sell for more than in a rage when rolling a two heal one start of the first turn apply yeah uh shop price is down by 40 percent. i don't know if i care mana symmetry is interesting All right. Five barrier, three curse. I don't think I care. I definitely like energizing potion for us. Azure potion could save us as well. Uh, the rest probably doesn't matter. Is there another shop? There's no other shop, but we can purchase... Ooh, six countdown to target spell. Tax gain lifesteal is a good way for me to be sustainable. This only has, this is on, on turn two. Which is really interesting. That lets us ramp faster. This is safer. This lets us ramp quicker and more reliably. Once we get our ramp going, we are pretty uh, dumb gross strong. So there's an elite up this way, and this this means that after uh, here, I get to make the decision if I feel like I need a heal or not. Mana Devourer is actually a perfect fight for us. Because he is just a guy who does large numbers. That's his... That's just what he does. That's his whole thing. da 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 That block already. And the heat stroke. Cool. He does big numbers and you try and appease him, basically. Alright, so this is where we would um, do a little cheeky boop. Oh that's oh that was fun. That little back and forth there. Put in the threes, most little value. Um, 
Joop. 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 We just rolled really well that time anyways. That was a perfect kill. Fi weaken to all enemies is... Pretty good. That might not be better. This is guaranteed good. I don't care about any of this. I wish I could fight two elites. I can't deny. I guess I'll just go to the sanctuary, though, since I can't. Uh, to rupture... I mean, Amalgamate is super good. It's less good now, though. It's actually less good now. We won't be able to use it late uh, later, so I'll just say sure. Uh, I don't care about gold, so let's go for 8 max HP. By the end of this freaking game, we're actually going to be near uh, a normal health pool. Is this... I think this guy's also just a... I do a lot of damage. This is an incredible roll. Four weeks to all units. That does help us more. For sure. Okay. One die away from doing even more than this. I'll take a nice clean 77 on that turn, though. Not going to be mad at that, that's for sure. Six countdown on a spell. Good deal, you about to see it. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of... Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Slide that extra week. Good. Now we double it. We have extra... Like, we have a lot of extra dice. This poor man? He thought he had some. Who thought... Who told him he could cook? <laughs> Should I stall this fight so I can gain more health by rolling twos? More twos, please. That's eh, annoying. Oh, that's right. This is the guy where we can only get one charge back per turn. Alright. I'm done playing with my food after this. Trying to just get a little bit more... Ooh, actually, he's given us a whole nother turn. <laughs> so, actually... You're just going to give me a whole nother turn. Give me two. Oh, you jerk. Come on. Come on. Farming on the Chaos Angel is hilarious. I give up. I'm bored. I'm bored. I've grown tired of you. Six damage heal to health unblockable. Eh. Doesn't really matter. Let's gain a shard. And we're gonna go for the triple. We can we can make it work. We can make it work. Heal three health unavoidable. When rolling a four, countdown to a random spell. This could be bad. The thing is, if that countdowns my uh, my super heats, that's bad. Let's play with it. Oh, we actually can't do it. We'd have to sacrifice something we have. Um. Yeah. That that makes that decision easy. I'm I'm not gonna get rid of a spell that I have in my 
board here. That seems stupid. Ooh, that is not a good first turn. Okay. The fact that we get a one still is fun. Heat stroke two. Got a one. No ones. All right. Doesn't really matter here. Triple that. Get the twenty. Pop them. Uh, is there any more spells we can cast? Okay. Next turn is the big funny. This is the big funny turn. And we luckily even got ourselves a lovely one. Oh, but heat stroke. Can we, can we do heat stroke? I don't know if we can. Oh, we can. We can't. Oh, we're so close to being able to do it. We can't wait. We can. What am I talking about? That ain't bad. Hey, I don't really need Inscribe anymore, so... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a nice thing to have. Okay. Okay. All right. Triple that. Give it to the next person. Get out of here. God, I gotta tell you. Every fight in the entire game was easy, except for funny desert worm fight. Just putting that out there, everything was really not that bad, except for that one. There was a, there was a dragon fight was a little bit spooky, but holy man, holy man alive. Uh, but we did it. There's a uh, void six. How high does it go? You need 12. It's crazy that these are all almost all different bosses and elite have 15 percent more health lose one max health when collecting a spell enemies all gain a power second turn of combat receive four sap oof that's so rough enemies debuffing spells hits an additional spell that's as that is terrifying but it's probably worth the four. First turn of combat receive four rupture is terrifying multi-hit enemies uh get to do at least like eight extra damage to you that's crazy each turn plus one countdown to all spells just don't use countdown spells forehead there's some interesting stuff there i think that that's maybe something i would do maybe like a little bit of that that and then oh if we're not starting with uh half max health because that's not even one of the options i think this is probably something i would do but hey that is that that's gonna do it here for today for spell rogue I don't know, man. Are we going to keep doing more? It was not the plan. It's not the plan. But you guys, you know, I'll admit the last video or the video before the last video is the only one that went up at the time of recording. Did better than I thought it would. So, hey, maybe we'll do some more. Don't know. It, it really comes down to if you guys support it. But hey, as I say, we'll see. It's down to your support. And if not, if we're not going to do any more, we're definitely coming back when there's a big update to the playtest or when it's out in early access because this game is fantastic. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.